John Loughborough was working in his grandfather's fields when he noticed that the cherry trees were cut up and their wheat crops were cut down by some of their neighbors that didn't like them. Grandpa, Grandpa! They did it again. They cut everything down. I want to go after them. I want to get revenge. At the time, John didn't really pay attention to God and turned a cold shoulder to him when his dad died. His grandpa made a big turning point in his life that day when he told him about God. John, it's okay. It's gonna be fine. God will take revenge for us. And besides, I wanted to cut down the ground earlier. And they did the work for me. John's grandfather taught him about God and his love for us and how revenge is not good. This made John want to study the Bible more. John was 16 years old when he preached his first sermon in a small church. There were a lot of people who had come to see him preach since no one had ever seen a boy preach before. He asked a Baptist minister if he could use his church. The minister wasn't worried about it because what harm could a little boy do? But when the minister realized the size of the crowds, he feared that John would take away his people. So he told John he couldn't come to the church the next day because they were going to start a choir practice. One of the guys in the crowd called him out on a lie and said he could use his school. The next night before the new meeting, he realized that trusting in God was the best thing to do. Dear Lord, I am asking you to help me and be my words tonight as I tell your words. John, don't preach what you are planning to preach tonight. I will show you what to preach. Okay, Lord, I will trust you. John had a full speech ready for that night, but God asked him to preach something he had never even studied. But he trusted in God. After that night, many people were blessed by his message. But this trial didn't end there. The Baptist minister and his friends invited John over for supper. When John showed up, the minister was waiting there to question him. So you're telling me everything you're preaching it comes from the Bible? And you say that the soul doesn't live forever? And well, I know for a fact that in Revelation 25 says that the soul burns in hell. Well, what you're saying is that it seems to be three chapters out of the Bible. For Revelation, only has 22 chapters. The minister took John's Bible and tried to prove what he was saying was right and that Revelation has 25 chapters. But the minister came to a slow stop because he couldn't find Revelation, for he was looking in the Old Testament. Where is Revelation? Well, first of all, first of all, you're looking in the Old Testament. Revelation is in the New Testament. And as you can see, Revelation only has 22 chapters. The minister stormed off quickly, <coughs> saying he had a meeting to attend to trying to cover up his embarrassment. John met his wife, Mary J, while preaching an evangelistic meeting. After a bit, they decided to start a family. The first children died at an early age, one at two years old, and the other one died after six days. They had a pair of twins, and one of them died at childbirth, and shortly after his wife died. The other one of the twin ended up surviving to adulthood, but died before her dad. He buried his wife with the twin in her arm, and they are now awaiting the coming of Jesus. At the end of John's life, he had accomplished many things and had gone all over the place preaching about God and his message. While he was on his deathbed, a lady who was taking care of him asked him these questions. Is it true that you have read every review ever written? And how is it that you have stayed true to what you believe through all those hard times that you had in your life? He replied, I have not read them all until I read the one I am holding now. He then told her that he just trusted in God no matter what happened, no matter what Satan threw at him. John Lothborough died on April 7th. 1924. He was one of the last of the original Adventist pioneers. Even though Lothborough had all those hardships in his life, he still carried out God's will and trusted in him. Just like John, if we have hardships, we can turn to God and trust that he will help us through it. <laughs>